Jam Council. Nice to meet you. As you might know, I'm in your class, and I'm here today to talk to you about, that's right, volleyball. So, me as you might know, volleyball is very, very challenging. You can't just come out here, wear some knee pads, come out here, dive the ball, so you're just gonna be good at it. No, you need years of dedication, hard work, and you know what? You just gotta come out here, and you gotta be like Cater Zilmer, number one person, baller, absolute baller. She's gonna be two years in a row, she's like this tall, and she's out here starting varsity, okay? She's gonna play around. Me, that, personally, I just kinda came out here, I just happened to be lucky, I was good at it. I could hit the ball every now and then over that little net. Not like that, but uh, you know, seriously, Let's just talk about the game. You know, there's tons of injuries in it. You can lay out for a while, you can hit your head, concussions, many girls did that. Ask Tristan Meacham, all right? So, <laughs> I guess good. <laughs> all right, my name is Armando Dirk, but uh, you know, let's not focus on my killer thighs, and uh, we should pay attention to Cater, you know. She's varsity two years, starts, doesn't even go to practice. So let's just, just turn it off and her. Hello? Hey. What? Oh, okay. Well, introduce yourself. I'm Jade Kiesler. Okay. And uh, what were you looking at over there? I was just thinking, you know, hope someday to be as good as Kiesler. But, uh, you know, just play in sixth grade, just bench warmer and B team. It's pretty, you tell. pretty important. So you know, bench like 110 degrees up in here. Nice, nice. All right, well, it's good to see you. And, uh, good luck this season. Thanks. I'm the only one, Kater Zilmer. I play volleyball at Mikis, and I play the left side. How many of you guys went to our games? Okay, few. How many of you guys, how many times did you guys walk the ground? None. Because you can tell I set the tone on the squat rack. Ooh, that booty though. Oh, what? Hello. My name is William G. Morgan, and uh, I'm the inventor of volleyball. I originally called it Minnow Net. And uh, really, it's just a bunch of sports combined. And it's, uh, it's like baseball, handball, and uh, stuff like that. And what I, I, what I was thinking was, uh, you know, I want something new. Something that kind of challenged athletes more. It wasn't just some going out there and real basic. So, you know, it's really, this is what I, I was sitting there and I was brainstorming. And after I was reading my book, and I saw somebody was, uh, he had a game somewhat like it. And so, uh, that's pretty much all I got to say. And, uh, <laughs> oh, look at the time. I got to be going. So, uh, it was good seeing you. But I can't really see anything. All right, uh, Volleyball statistics kills any attack that lands for a point. Uh, attack attempt, any overhead contact of the ball designed to score. I can't look at you straight though. Uh, service ace, a serve lands untouched on the opponent's side or shanked. Digs, defensive player keeps a spike in play. Blocks. Player blocks the ball to the oh oppos opposition's court, leading directly to a point. I can't see through. You know, playing volleyball at Mingus, have a coach yelling at a coach. You know, we're a strong believer in setting the tone of the squat rack. So do my squat match. Man, coach 
who's texting you guys? Yeah, who texts you? Yeah. You text me. What did he, what'd he say? He said he wants us to go on a run right now to keep in shape for a tournament this weekend. You guys want to do it? No. Probably should have done. You could have done it. Yeah, let's go. Broke so many oh. things right now. Peter, you alright? Oh, I, oh said my I God. got a concussion. I slipped and fell and hit my head. Oh, jeez. I don't know what to do. I think I broke myself. Oh, I think man, I'm done, though. I have blurry vision. Oh, no. I'm I guess I'm going for a three peat on my broken collarbone. This is the first time I broke anything, man. Uh, wish I had Papa Boyce here. Wait, where's Papa Zilmer? I'm going to go see the coach again. I think I broke both my ankles. I'm gonna be out for the rest of the season. I'm gonna be out for like the whole year. Alright, so what happened here? Well, we were, Coach told us to go on a jog and we kind of tripped over a log and I don't really remember what happened after that. You don't remember what happened? Mm -hmm. Oh. Alright, so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and Put your eyes and see if it uh, your eyes dilated at all, right? All right, it's not looking very good. You know, I think you might have got a concussion. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and do this ice. Go ahead and put that on your head. And just hold it there, and I'll be right back with you. So what happened with you? Okay, so she fell, and my buddy was trying to go help her. He fell. I was going to help him. I jumped off of a tree mountain thing. Broke probably every bone I have. My right. body and my ankles. All right, so what you want to do is when you're running or playing any kind of sports, like volleyball, you want to make sure you wear the right shoes. Playing <laughs> for you have an ankle support. Tons of ankle support. Right shoes, make sure your shoes are tied tight so that way they can't move around inside of them. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to have you put these ankle oh. braces on. Oh, damn Active it. Active ankle. Can't. Best ones you can find. Alright. What if I can't touch my toes so I can't put so them on? What I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you put these on. Or maybe your friend over here would like to help you put them on. But she has a concussion so she can't remember. <laughs> so yeah, always remember. Tons of ankle support. Make sure you don't just go out there running and lose shoes. Make sure they're tight. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go back into my office and go ahead and call your coach and let you and let him know what happened. If you feel okay? All right, you guys have a nice day. Palm was so fun. Palm was so fun, but those three girls that got drunk oh my God. ruins. It was just so stupid. Like, why would you do that? Plus, the toenail came off. And, uh, what are you guys doing? What do you mean, coach? Why are you standing around? How do you expect to beat Gladstone? Don't beat Gladstone. Well, they're obviously getting better right now, being in the late. We're standing in the tall in the squat rack. For real? Alright, well then what do you want us to do? Yeah, show me your stance. Are you kidding me? That's not how you stand. How do you stand?
First of all, your hand or any of your body parts cannot go into the net. You can't touch the ball twice by yourself. If you hit it once, you have to let someone else hit it. All right. So, first question. How many balls do you get to the face a day? <laughs> um, in volleyball, I have probably been hit in the face, I don't know, I get hit in the face probably once a month. Once a month? Even that's, coaching. That's not even that much. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, how many long poles do you run into? That's the kind of time I Not very often. I don't, think I've, I don't think I've ever ran into the pole. Moving on. I accidentally did one time. Oh, it hurt your face. Yes, it did. It was in PE, eighth grade year. Okay. Um, what's your favorite position? I was a setter in high school. Don't know what that is. Can you explain that? Uh, it's the person who gets the second touch. It is kind of the person who calls the plays. This plays? Mm -hmm. Oh, sick. Um, and last question. Why did you start playing volleyball? Um, because I was not, I played soccer for years and soccer and volleyball at the same time and I was a better volleyball player than I was a soccer player. So I went to volleyball. I was thinking about that too. I'm gonna go on the volleyball team. Oh boy. Can't wait to see the uniform. Ooh. <laughs> should see the video. <laughs>